My name is Daryl Keel, president of Vacuum Pressing Systems. I'm calling this video Getting Started. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about you've decided you want to get a vacuum press. Now, what do you need and what do you get with what you buy? Mainly what you need, you need a pump and you need a bag. Everything you need comes with that except what I call the platen board which we'll talk about in a little while. So let's take a closer look at what comes with a pump as well as what comes with a bag. Let's take a look at the pump first and by far the most important thing is the hose that connects the pump to the bag. We have two types of hoses. On our larger pumps the filter jar is on the back of the pump so the hose does not include it. On our smaller pumps the filter jar is in the hose rather than on the back of the pump. So either way you get a hose with all of our pumps, filter included, no need to order that extra and the filter jar has a filter element included so again no need to order extra filter elements they will last you for years just keep them clean. So the next item that comes with your press or bag are these platen sleeves. Platen sleeves are what go in your platen board that I will show you in a few minutes that you run grooves in. These platen sleeves and you get either two or four of them with your bag or pump depending on which bag and which pump you get. The brass fitting on the hose goes up through the nipple on the bag and into this platen sleeve locking the platen and the bag together. Now let's take a look at the platen and the platen sleeve from the top side. So this is an example of a typical platen. This happens to be melamine coated particle board and right here is where the platen sleeve is located. A hole was drilled through the platen and one of these platen sleeves was pounded up through the board and then cut off flush. The last thing as you can see is grooves cut in both direction go right through the center of the platen sleeve. This helps the air to get out efficiently from the bag to the hose and to the pump. Now there's no need to remember anything about the platen sleeve and where it goes because we have a nice instruction manual that will cover it very specifically where it goes and the size hole you have to drill and all that good stuff as well as different glues and making curved forms and how to build them properly as well as calls on top of your panels. Uh, it's a seven page instruction manual and uh, you'll get a lot of good information there. So the last thing that you're going to get is a patch kit because things can happen uh, and this patch kit uh, comes with little sticky back patches for really pinholes as well as a tube of glue and a piece of bag material for larger patches. Now if you're getting just a bag and using your own pump then you will need this brass bag fitting to mate with the nipple on the bag and put it into your own hose. Now let's take a look at the bag along with the patch kit and the platen sleeves I talked about earlier, there's a couple things that are part of the bag. One is the nipple. This is heat welded to the bag permanently. Second are the closures. You have the tube that the bag folds over and the C that snaps over it to hold the bag tight. On our larger bags, eight feet and longer, there's a closure on both ends. On our smaller bags like this one I'm showing here you will see that the heat weld is on three sides so requiring only one closure. So this is everything you get with a pump and a bag which is actually everything you need. When you get a pump and a bag you have everything you need to press a panel. The only thing you do is to make the platen that we talked about. So this is about getting started. This covers what you need to know. If there's any other questions, give us a call anytime.